Welcome to the Heart Dollar Self Pace Product Training Master Resource Assemblies lesson. This lesson will provide you with a basic overview of setting up the master resource assemblies in the library. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource assemblies that you want to have copied into the new job. This section will demonstrate how to create a new master resource assembly in the library. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource assemblies that you want to have copied into the new job. Each assembly record in the register operates the same way. Each assembly record represents a group or collection of resource assemblies in certain proportion. There is no limit to the number of resource ingredients that can be specified in an assembly. Labor, construction equipment, rented construction equipment, installed materials, installed equipment, supplies, and unique resources can be ingredient resources. To create a new master resource assembly, click on the small green burst located toward the left top corner of the resource assembly register. Now we will enter a code and description for our new master resource assembly. We also have the opportunity to apply resource file, geographic area, organizational categories, and custom tags to the assembly to aid us in grouping and sorting our assemblies later. In our example, we will apply the standard resource assembly file description and organizational category to the assembly. Next, we will enter the unit of measure for our assembly. The quantity and unit of measure are only shown for informational purposes and do not affect calculations. For our concrete crew example, we will indicate that the quantities of the resources we choose are based on a quantity of one and a unit of measure of hours. Next, we will add an organizational category description to our assembly. Since this assembly deals with a concrete crew, we will select the concrete organization category description. Once again, the purpose of doing this is to allow us to sort and filter our assemblies when needed. Now we will have to add our ingredients to our assembly. To do this, ensure that you are on the assembly details tab. Next, we will need to click on the first empty cell under the Resource Code column, which will bring up the Resource Selection Register. Now we select the resources that will make up our assembly. Since we'll be selecting both labor and equipment resources, we'll stay on the All tab in the Selection Register. In order to select multiple resources, we will hold the Control key each time we click on a resource. Once all the resources are selected for the assembly, click the OK button to close the selection register. Now all the resources appear in our Concrete Crew Master Resource Assembly. Next, we'll adjust the number of carpenter journeymen that we will have in our assembly from 1 to 2. This means that for each hour our Concrete Crew is employed, we will have two journeymen employed. Now click OK to close the Resource Assembly Register. This section will demonstrate how to create a new master resource assembly in the library utilizing the drag and drop capabilities available in Hard Dollar. When new job folders are created, you will have the ability to specify the master resource assemblies that you want to have copied into the new job. The first thing we'll do is enter the new master resource assembly code. In this example, we will add a grading crew. Click the first blank cell below the assembly code column. Note that our new resource code jumped up in the register. This occurred due to the fact that we are sorting our resources by the codes. Now we will enter the description, resource file description, quantity, and unit of measure directly on the resource assembly register. Next, we will leave the master resource assembly register open and open the master resource rates register. Click Library on the main Hard Dollar menu. Click on Master Resource Rates. In order to allow us to drag and drop resources from the Master Resource Rates Register to our Master Resource Assembly Rate Register, we will arrange the two registers side by side. Click on Window on the main Hard Dollar menu. Select Arrange All and then Tile Vertical. Now, our two registers are side by side. 
Next, we will select all the resources in the Master Resource Rate Register that we want to have in our grading crew. Once again, since we will be selecting both labor and equipment resources, we will stay on the All tab in the Master Resource Rate Register. In order to select multiple resources, we will hold the Control key each time we click on the resource. The next step is to drag the selected resources from the Master Resource Rate Register to the Master Resource Assembly Rate Register. Left click in the row header for one of the selected resources and hold the mouse button down. Now drag the resources over to the Master Resource Assembly Register. Once the resources are dragged over the assembly that you want to add them to, you will notice a small white and black icon. This indicates that those resources will be added to that assembly when you drop them by releasing the mouse button. Release the mouse button and the resources are dropped into the assembly. Next, we will close the Master Resource Rate Register and maximize the Master Resource Assembly Rate Register. Now we will expand the grading crew and display all the resources that were added in the last step. Lastly, we'll click the gray X in the upper right corner to close the Master Resource Assembly Rate Register. Congratulations, you have just completed the lesson. This lesson covered the following topics. Setting up Master Resource Assembly Rates in the library, and setting up Master Resource Assembly Rates using drag and drop capabilities within Hard Dollar.